Hello everyone, welcome back to another sandbox tutorial. Uh, this is this episode, uh, I think it's episode 5? Is, is, is episode 5? Yeah, okay, oh, episode 5. Sorry, uh, no, isn't it? Wait, no, episode 6, sorry! <laughs> sorry, episode 6. We're gonna start talking about uh, C items and mods. A very important part of uh, of sandbox method philosophy and methodology around um, around creating systems. Okay, uh, let me then start with um, as always F11. Okay, sorry. Let me remove this. So C items. We uh, discovered on, in the previous tutorial that. C items are element the elements that are dragged onto character sheets onto actors and they will then basically they contain information yeah uh, the thing is that not only can they contain information C items can also perform uh, modifications on actors how let's look at this example let's suppose that we're gonna have a set of uh, uh, giant strength gloves yeah let's create them we go here to gear we duplicate the torch but we're gonna edit it we're gonna say these gloves give a plus three modifier to strength okay let's change this for the sake of just yeah for the fun of it where are the gloves Glo ah here's a glove yeah okay now uh gloves of giant strength for the name okay now as remember uh this is an object group okay so it will directly appear on every table that has the objects group so we have an inventory one so it will appear uh, there uh, just a sec something is wrong with my mic yeah this is always happens to me like uh, yeah okay this is better okay 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 yeah this is better now so mods and C items as I, as I said mods are the main way in which a C item can interact or modify an actor so how can this happen in three different ways so c items can be passive activation or consumable what does this mean if it's a passive then it will always perform the modification onto the actor in the actor if it's activation it requires the c item to be activated and if it's consumable it requires a C item to be activated, but it can only be activated a certain or specific number of times. So let's go with the activation because the gloves can be worn uh, whenever we want, whenever the character wants. Okay. Now, hmm, has icon always on an icon path? Okay, so this is a functionality that is not part of sandbox core but is part of a module that i have not yeah i should do this uh up, up, upload onto foundry foundry's web repository but it allows uh, to um use kind of the effect functionality from foundry core and from dnd foundry core into into sandbox i'll explain more of this later but right now just just forget about it okay role name role id this is part of the roles functionality so yeah disregard this right now so it means that when activated it can perform a role okay and it tells you the role now the important bit of this tutorial is the mods the modifier yeah so what's this these are the modifications that the C item can perform in the can execute in the actor. So we add one and we see a new field, a new small panel with some options. 
we have many types of modification of mod for c item but basically there are six types yeah the first one is add this modifier adds a value to a specific attribute so here in the mod we can write the description adds three to strength okay conditional we look at this shortly and the attribute key that we need that that we want to modify this is going to be str if i'm not mistaken let me see template props strength the key is str okay and we're going to add three points okay so that's it that's our first modifier so this means that if i drag the clothes onto the uh, to the actor and the actor wears them they're gonna boost the strength three points let's try that we drag this here where's the inventory oh here here we see the gloves of giant strength but there is a problem here my friends we cannot see the activation icon or buttons so what we're going to do is to make some space for that okay we're going to modify the inventory inventory uh, inventory um table where is this one here it is the inventory table so we're going to remove transferable so we can have some room for this and i guess we're going to click on show activation uh, so if we can make some room i'm going to remove show units but you need to see the units and in inventory it's just that this this has later room room in terms of columns and we're gonna keep the rest as it is yeah okay so as we changed a fundamental table of this template so we have to rebuild the template go back in there it is we'll reload just in case there it is we have a new column called active and the gloves of giant strength are a c item there's c item this is it's a c item that can that is activatable i don't know that can be activated so strength is eight this means that if we activate the gloves we should have a strength of 11. let's activate we go back and boom and it appears in green because green is the default color for boosted property by a c item okay so if i deactivate it there you have it strength comes back to normal okay so that's the first way in which a c item can affect something now imagine that we have a skill okay imagine that the athletism skill by itself always increase our strength i don't know uh two points okay it's just, just just an example why am i saying this because i want to create a passive c item mod okay so it means that ev ev every time every time dex boost plus two every time that the c item is in the actor is going to perform this change not only when is activated okay so we drag athletism and here you see dexterity went up two points yeah and we don't need to activate it or anything because it's a passive c item finally uh, uses oh i think i'm going to remove all the weight and all that stuff from the group so i can have some room here or shall i create a new group or just uh yeah let's create a new group okay so we can test better without changing much of the stuff here we're going to create the trait group this is going to be a group and uh, as always the group key trade group and no specific property or whatsoever okay we're going to create a new table new property called trades table we're going to set it as table the key is going to be trades table 
the group is going to be the trade group we are not going to need any header we are not going to need to yeah we we will show the units no we not won't show the units we'll sh show the uses and we'll show the activation yeah okay and we're going to use we're going to add this one to the personal panel personal info panel that's it oh but that's two columns yeah that's fine that's fine because we have race level race table so it's going to appear next uh wait a second wait a second is this going to be the best way of doing this uh, 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 yeah let's try let's try let's try let's see what what we get let's see what we get if not i'll put the table somewhere else sorry i, I didn't expect this i'm always kind of improvising my tutorials so there it is not bad yes not bad okay so he would find that traits table yeah let's create a new trait that is going to be called first the folder traits is going to be called uh, fury okay or rage rage yeah or something like that yeah so when you become enraged your i don't know you you gain you gain five hit points or something like that okay we need to add the group for trait to to uh, render this to transform this into a trait and the modifier this is going to be consumable and again disregard the icon stuff we'll look at that in in a while and consumables can be of three way uh, three um uh, of can have some configuration permanent it means that once you activate the consumable the change that it executes is permanent so if it boosts strength that strength is boosted permanently so the modification that the c item executes is going to always be there and i want it always to be there because i want the hit points to uh to increase by what did we say five points yeah icon the activation icon we're going to choose we have three book vial star i was thinking about making this more configurable for users in a way so probably i'll do something like the icon path here but uh, soon when i have some time star and rechargeable yes so normally if a consumable c item is not rechargeable once it reaches zero uses it's going to disappear and the number of uses we're going to have three uses per day users can also accept role expressions and can be automated okay uh, the role dialogue we're gonna um, just ignore it and finally we're still gonna use that add at 5 to HP so what was the key for HP hit points HP okay so we write down here the key and and we introduce here five okay now that we have our rage trait here appears you see so the first icon is the activation uh the activation icon that we chose to be chosen to be a star we see here the uses and the max uses so if i click on the star you see hp went up five points five of 13. the uses got reduced one and the max uses is still three let's do this again and we have 10 hit points now the users are is is uh, have decreased to one and finally boom we got plenty hit points but we have no users and the symbol has changed this means that if the symbol is clicked the c item uses are going to be restored okay so i click it and boom three of three amazing now huh? that is it so you can create potions you can create i don't know amulets magic objects even specific types of skills or attributes for actors 
the possibilities are endless honestly i've seen people do crazy stuff so um let's continue then with the types of mods okay so um again that that recharge symbol appeared because rechargeable was was um was clicked let's see what happens if we remove the rechargeable so we execute them and now that we only have one use if we click the use item the star rage is going to disappear you see that just because it's not rechargeable okay mm, now let's continue let's create what we're we going to have set yeah let's create a piece of armor okay gear we duplicate the gloves and we call this uh, leather armor okay i don't know adds no sets what can we set ah we have a b attack bonus yeah mm -hmm. i don't have any other property i didn't create no property for this but i guess this this will do I guess this will do no let me create another property so I mean just 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 for the sake of of um, of turning this into a more a more nice more nice example yeah so we're going to create the AC armor class property AC it's simple numeric tag is AC default value is 10 okay and we're going to add it to the attributes panel we're not going to make this too much complicated uh, 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 uh. AC before the notes let's rebuild this let's reload this there it is oh i didn't add the the width of of this remember from our first tutorial so we go to ac and we set this uh what did we use for dexterity small and fit so small and fit fantastic we rebuild we go back here reload okay so as we we're saying so we create a leather armor that's it there it is and sets ac to 14 when worn okay groups is an object group uh attributes yeah no, not important right now now this is absolutely an activation C item because we, you need to activate it, you need to wear it for the bonus to apply. But we're not going to use add, we are going to use set as we said here. It's going to set the AC to 14. So we change the key to AC, this to 14. We change the description to sets AC to 14. Okay? So let's drag the leather armor here you can see there it is so ac is 10 if i click on active leather armor ac is set to 14. fantastic huh that easy okay let's deactivate and the ac goes back to 10. okay now <clears throat> let's let's do a different thing now let's let's explain the following thing so before we go to hmm, the next ones no no let's continue up let's let's continue to the end now uh create now this is a sensible matter for the create um mods with the create tag but what they do is create hidden properties okay so why is this important 
Woof. Uh, how can I create an example, proper example for this? Uh, how was the time? 20 minutes. I think I'm going to leave create for the second part of sea items. Okay, let's let's do the the the, the basic mods for sea items, which are add set and item and roll. Okay. Those are the basics items okay so now let's remove dwarf and let's go for the next bit of the tutorial so imagine that just for being a dwarf you gain a specific trait we're going to create a trait that is going to be called instead of rage uh, stone cunning or something like that i think it was, was called uh, you know everything about the stones. Ah, that's it. Okay. It's group trade group mods. So this is no consumable. We remove all this and the users and everything. This is passive. Okay. This is something that the character can always do. And we're not going to give him any kind of mod so we'll remove the mode here with the x okay so this is a plain c item with only information right now now going back to dwarf i want that every dwarf actor i want every dwarf actor to have the stone cunning uh, c item how can i do that by adding the new mod adding the item type Okay, so so adds uh, racial traits for this race. No, no, add racial traits. That's it. Now, two important things. You've seen that the panel now changes. You have two main uh, settings: select and the items. Select. So if you just say here zero every item that we drop below here the items is going to be added when this C item is included into onto that is dragged into the actor so what i want is stone cunning to be part of of the dwarf uh, C item item mod so what happens now so if i drag dwarf stone cunning is going to be simultaneously added to the actor boom there you see stone cunning added to the actor and if I remove the dwarf, it's going to go with it. There you go. Okay. The item mod is very useful uh, to chain C items and their dependency. So you can create uh, skill trees, uh, ability trees. Um, you can create classes and races then that they, they, they can add subsequent traits or abilities or or advantages or disadvantages and a lot of stuff now what happens if we say that we want both stone cannon and rage they so if i add the dwarf both are added so and i remove dwarf it removes them but the select if i change the select and say one and i drag the dwarf you see that now i have this red icon here what does that mean that means that the actor or the game master need to make a choice need to choose one item like we said here select one when i click it this dialog appears one item between stone cunning and rage and i select rage the okay is enabled i click on it and boom there it is okay so select can allow um so the selection of 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 specific items this is also very useful for systems where when you uh, level up and you need to choose between items traits or feats or things like that typically dnd and things like that okay there you go so i would say that with at set an item basically you can create any game system that you want or that you can imagine okay even basically any system the other three that we have there create roll list they give flavor to the systems okay so basically add set and item are the main skeleton for the c item functionality at sand in sandbox now 
what I said that was going to um, explain about the the icons. So there's a module that I um, that I created for Sandbox uh, called CTA Link. So CTA Link, what uh, creates is a new functionality. So let me create a new scene so I can explain this new map. Okay, let's move here into our new PC. Let's give him a face. Uh, 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 uh. Let's give him this face. Okay. Let's link the actor data. Okay, fantastic. So now what about the CTA link? So is a module that uh, that I created that you can find on the Discord server. Uh, and soon I'll try to upload it to the Foundry uh, website and also in our, in my Patreon page. And here is CTA Sandbox. Once you activate it, it requests and requires you to enable the custom token animation module is, is, is dependent on that one. OK, so once we do that, we save the module settings. Ah, but it requires socket lib or oh, socket lib. There, there you go, socket lib and we save, we, we, we reboot. OK, what does this module do? So uh imagine that in the inventory i have a gear called uh shield okay and i'm going to change this to this okay and it says protect sweater or something like that Okay, so it's an object group and this one is activated. And if I mark this has icon, okay, so now I am going to add an icon through the icon path. The icon path and, and the icon should be located in the foundries uh, installation folder. Okay, so let's go to images icon no no icons uh, markers for me and i'll use this icon okay so this is going to be pretty cool so when i drag the shield to this guy and i activate the shield boom you see what happens in the map a new icon that i set up and i, and I told the c item that if this c item gets activated show the icon when i deactivate this shield the shield disappears. It is very useful to clone and copy that DD and find another systems in Foundry functionality of effects. So when a C item that could be an effect that you could be um, prone or uh, asleep or I don't know, uh, have disadvantage or something like that, you can create effects, C items with the group effect i don't know something like that that could have all these icons that would display on the map when activated or when drop onto an actor so you could you have extra tools and extra functionalities to make your uh, mm, combat based on maps uh, very very more more useful yeah very amazing so I, I use this a lot for maybe i can show you some examples I use this a lot for my Icewind Dale campaign. Okay. Uh, ah, not here. Uh, here, just a sec. Yeah, so I use this a lot. To, to, to do stuff. So for example, if this character, this is all done in Sandbox, huh? This is my D&D &D, uh, Spanish implementation for Sandbox with a lot of cool stuff. Um, so here you can see if, so if, if this guy, do I have this guy? Ah, yes, 
it's linked actor data okay so if now let's say this guy goes down to zero hit points what i did was to include a c item that when reaching zero points i'll explain the conditionals in the next tutorial okay when reaching zero hit points it adds a new c item with an icon so if i go into zero now uh didn't i include it why didn't i include it oh no i didn't include it in this implementation ah <laughs> okay 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 but uh did i include this stuff oh yes i included it here oh sorry not here bah, bah, bah. so it's zero hit points so if he fails the first uh the first um death save roll you see a one x appears here if he saves the second one the second one if he gets a good first one uh so if if he passes one he gets an, a heart there now you see there's some effects here that i that i put here a c item so let me also show you if someone throws a i don't know it's uh yeah it's prone if i throw prone into him you see prone icon shows here you see that this this little stuff here if i throw blinded onto him uh i think i didn't do it but okay if i throw a slip there it is a slip the icon and everything so very cool module that you guys can can find um in the discord or my patreon completely free to to download so you, you I, I don't think you need to be a patron so i think it's, it's in one of the posts okay sorry for dragging this a lot uh we are going to uh leave this here and the second part of the tutorial we're going to talk about uh, the conditionals and the other three mods for the C item and some tricks and tips for you C item the best way possible in your campaign. Um, sorry for the improvisational tutorial. There are a couple of things that I, that I didn't remember. I didn't have. I have that PG thing that um, incapacitated in the in server. But well, I think this is enough example for you to see how this works. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Enjoy sandbox. Come join me in my Patreon if you like this and you want to support me. Come join us in Discord if you want to talk about this and show us how many cool stuff you can do. Uh, and see you in the next one. Boom! Well, nah, failed.